just real ugly, huh? There's so many people who just have the most cutest setups and you just low-key kind of hate yourself and I am uh, in that boat because uh, this is my setup. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I keep seeing all of these very cute costumes and stuff from all you people from United Kingdom, from America, and I was just like, it's a desert here in Australia. What rabbit stuff can we get? That thus began my journey to scour the internet for castles that were affordable. And they're not quite that affordable, if I'm if I'm gonna be honest with you. But by no means do you need to do the same thing as me. I just felt like a failure. Therefore, I'm going to overcompensate for that failure by buying them a castle. I've had like so many different bunny setups and this is just the one that's working for me right now. You don't have to have a playpen, but I prefer having a playpen for my rabbits because there are many times where I just need to enclose them, AKA like people who come over to my house and they might be afraid. They just need a place like a home base to go home to. Even if I give them the whole house to roam around, they enjoy hanging out in there and that's really wonderful to see. I find that with free roaming rabbits, people who normally don't have a home base for their rabbit. The rabbit makes their own home base. They like usually only ever hide under a table and I'm like, that's kind of sad. Like, why don't you give them like a wonderful designated area for them? So that's why I do that. Yeah, also when I go on trips and stuff, I prefer to enclose them in a playpen so they're easy to find when someone comes to take care of my pets. It's pretty hard to make a rabbit setup aesthetic but also functional and I found this local guy who makes bunny castles near my house. What's really great about their castles is that there is several entrances. It's really wonderful to find someone who makes really cute designs and also is very functional because they understand rabbit behavior and I saw this other design on his Instagram that someone else customized and it's got this little middle section with like little windows and cute little doors and I opted for that version. There's also different other versions where you can add a litter box feeder or like a hay feeder to the whole castle section. There's also one where there's three stories and um, I had to um, talk myself out of buying that one. There's also a rabbit castle desk and I've always joked about it, but I low-key want it because I edit every day. I was thinking of getting a standing desk, but a rabbit castle desk sounds way better, don't you think? This is the finished result. I still need to screw it in, the ladders. Other than that, I think it looks really wonderful. I think it's uh, crafted really well. So I picked up the castle today and I spoke to the guy and he was really nice. Small businesses in Australia took a really hard hit during quarantine. We've had several rounds of lockdowns. A lot of us have lost tons of money, have no jobs. And um, he was just really grateful that I bought something from him. He told me it was really funny to him that there's this very marketable niche uh, selling rabbit castles. And I don't think he realizes how big rabbit castles are in the rabbit community, but what really sold me was this beautiful, magnificent, immaculate oh, craftsmanship of these cute little rabbit heads that were cut out around the top. Usually he sells it with just like a bridge down the middle, but I, th I saw this other variation where there's these cute little window cutouts and the little door, and I found that really adorable, and I thought it would be a nice additional little hideout space for them, because Milky really enjoys hiding, and so does Ash. If you didn't know why rabbits love to hide and why they need a hidey house and why I bought this castle, it's a lot more natural to their instincts that they have more than one exit, because wild rabbits have such intricate burrow systems, and that's still within their instincts that they want several places to escape because they're prey animals. What really sold me besides that whole rabbit head detail is that there's multiple entrances and exits. You may find that with closed litter boxes or things that have only one entrance, your rabbit won't enjoy entering that space. That was really important to me because my rabbits still get into a lot of territorial disputes. They still try to mount each other and if there was only one entrance, uh, one rabbit might get upset that the other one's blocking it and then they, that might actually cause a fight. 
Rabbits get sore hocks because they don't have soft padding underneath their feet. They have fur and bone and that's just about it. So some rabbits are fine walking on hard surfaces and tiles and stuff. Cookie's fine running around on tiles, but majority of rabbits feel safe when there's traction underneath their feet. So they prefer like a carpet or like a soft surface underneath. Obviously you don't have to go out and buy a really nice jute rug. Like this is a very nice carpet just for them. And I was low key hoping it didn't fit inside their playpen so I can put it in my lounge. I used to have fleece blankets as the flooring, but I don't think that was enough traction for them and they would always dig it up anyway. I tried out some old rugs to see if they would dig those up and they didn't. So I was like, oh, okay, good test. So I can buy them an actual rug. This is a short ends and this might work for some rabbits and some rabbits, obviously not. With Ash and Milky, they definitely can jump over this. They just decide not to. So that's why I only have it one grid high. My current setup was uh, atrocious. It was absolutely in shambles. It was falling apart. I kept trying to hold on to that whole castle idea with a cardboard castle, which they enjoy shredding cardboard for their pleasure. So yeah, the reason why I'm making over this whole section here is because I tried to make it aesthetic as possible because it is in the middle of my living room and dining room. So it's one of the focal points in my house. I finally decided to actually just buy what I wanted instead of uh, making do with a uh, cheap Kmart stuff. I've done that for too long and it's not working because the amount of times they've shredded a, a nice beautiful Kmart rug that I bought for them and they just needed something sturdy and something nice. Also same with the cardboard castle that I bought from Kmart. It's still a great temporary kind of hideout and also great enrichment for them. I've spent way too much money on my rabbits already as is. I just wanted to spend more because truly I'm not a bunny owner, the bunnies own me.